All right then, boys and girls, it is another day. It's the weekend, Laura is at uni, um, but shortly before she went to uni, she spotted that there is a, what looks like a little damp patch in the ceiling of one of the rooms upstairs, which on a list of like things that I need, that's pretty fucking low, right? <laughs> uh, I could do without that. One, as it happens, like we have issues with, um, with damp, which we've managed to like sort out because it's on the ceiling, uh, sorry, on the ceiling, on the, the it's penetrating damp coming in from the outside. So we've managed to put some waterproof ceiling on it. Uh, we've remortared it and uh, done all the waterproof paint and all that shit, um, which basically will buy us some time so that when it's summer, we can get someone to come around and have a look at it when it's a reasonable climate in order to do it in because it needs to not be like frosty or wet and all that shit. And frosty and wet is exactly what it is right now. Um, that sorted. However, Water coming in from the roof is more of an issue. Um, so that's stressful. I drove Laura to work, uh, which took me about 10 minutes uh, to de-ice the car this morning. That's how cold it was. It didn't feel that cold last night. But it took about 10 minutes to de-ice the car. I've come back, I've researched what we need. And we're gonna go to the DIY shop, boys. I'm not gonna be able to fix it. But the problem is that our, like we can't really get up in the loft. There's very little like places to walk. So we need to put some boards down. Um, the ladder's up. Basically, until we've got boards down to be able to walk over there to check out what's going on, we can't do anything. So that's what I'm going to go do today. I was going to do a load of work, but as you can see, there's a little damp patch and it is like, it's almost like actual water. I have a feeling that it's coming from the chimney breast because the chimney breast kind of goes like that. That's my guess. Um, but like I say, I don't know until um, I've got there. So yeah, a list of things that I needed in my life. Like I say, this, this rank's pretty low. But sitting around and dwelling on it is no point, especially considering that that thing, we didn't know that was there. Like, like we're trying to figure out at what point, how long it's been building up for. Like, when would we have noticed? Um, so, couple of days ago we have probably in there so it's come through pretty quick so let's go and get looking now my general stress levels pretty bad at the moment <laughs> I'm pretty stressed out uh, and like I say I could really do with just having the opportunity to just like dive through some work that's like the ideal right um, the ideal is not gonna happen though <laughs> so we need to figure out a different way um, specifically today. Uh, it's just been a stressful couple of days for me. My head's not in the right space. So it's probably better for me to go out and try and do as much as I can to fix this now, rather than sit and try and do work when I'm not really in the right headspace anyway, um, while worrying about this extra one thing. Um, it's just really bad fucking timing, man. Everything is. I've got my measurements. I've got my pen and paper and a little ruler thing. Tape measure. Do I need anything else? My wallet, obviously, and then car. Okay, let's go have an outing, boys. I'm at a point, I'm just trying to figure out where the frickin' frack I put my wallet. Um, I'm at a point where it's like, do something or cry, you know? So let's, let's do something. Or sit around trying to be productive, not being very productive, and then cry. God damn, you know how little I know about places like this? Near the installation, do you reckon? So the question on everyone's lips, do you reckon I could lift them up there on my own? Got changed, so I don't mind getting dirty. It's worth a shot in it, boys. No harm in trying. It's it's getting to here. If I can get to here with them and then let, like lever them up, we should be okay. The biggest problem up here is there's like eight fucking foot worth of insulation. It's so hard trying to find where like the and it's all on top of the the wood. So it's really hard trying to find, there's a wooden beam going across here. I know that's safe to stand on. I want to get to like here because it might be that little, see that orange speck there? Might be there that's causing the issue. Or this is the chimney, like I say. Or I think water's getting in the chimney at the top and then like dripping out of the rock there. But I mean, that looks dusty, but it doesn't look wet. Hmm. I just need to find out where else I can stand on this wood. It's really hard. So you gotta like fish through. Oh, there you go. There's a fucker. That's a big one. Right, okay. Right, so foot there. Hey! 
Right, I mean, there's no obvious signs of dripping. Um, oh, well, that's wet though. That's gross. Then in that, obviously, water might be coming down there somewhere. Right, if that's wet, can I put some kind of bucket on it? Hmm. Right, Laura, this one's for you. Okay, so here's what I've found. That little orangey speck there is like, it's wet, it's like damp, but there's no obvious signs where water could be getting in from here, right? Oh, I think there's a bird on the roof. Um, but there's no obvious gaps or anything I can spot underneath here. Like the walls, they feel all right. The roof feels okay. So I don't know what to do, um, <laughs> to be honest. Just been outside to have a look at the uh, pointing on the um, Wasserman Jake. This might be that, like I was just talking to uh, one of my neighbors who actually helped me jumpstart my car the other day. Um, we're now best mates, which I'm not, I'm not sure about, <laughs> to be honest. I don't like having, you know, I don't like having, when you leave the house and someone's there and you have to like have a conversation, you know? We went like a year and a half living in this place without having to talk to anyone. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> well, he's, he's helpful. So he's, he's a really nice guy, but it's just, you know what I mean? He, I think he just said like, I come from a village. I grew up in a village, so I'm used to like, you know, helping out. And he's just recommended next door to me, which if you haven't, there's like a Twitter account I follow called like best of next door. And it's just like, like a cross between Twitter and Facebook but for like a very localized area. So like, it's kind of, it's location based, not global. And it's just full of old people. <laughs> it's great, it's a great Twitter account to follow. But he just recommended that to me. But anyway, he was saying, um, oh, what was he saying? I've just like offered, I'm like, <laughs> cause he helped me with the car and he's like pointing out stuff on there. Um, what was I doing? I was walking around, I was gonna do something. Hoover. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, off, he's like said, he can recommend some people. So it's about time we started making friends. As much as I didn't want to. Uh, yeah, there's no obvious signs um, of damage up in roof. Um, it's probably, he was saying, um, which is very true. The other day it was really, really rainy and really windy. And it could be as simple as just like some water got blew, blown up the like tiles, you know? Um, it's highly possible. Um, and then it just kind of came in like that. There's no obvious, like, on the white bit there, the ceiling, which is what's really throwing me. I would have expected something on there, at least for it to have come through like that. But failing that could be the pointing on the chimney stack. <sighs> could be a lot of things. None of them sound cheap. Predominantly because they're hard to diagnose. As a soft, as a computer guy, as a software guy, I like it when people explain bugs to me, you know? I like it when someone comes to me with a problem, but they've done everything possible to find out why it's not working. They've not come to you and just said, it's broken. And I'll be like, what's the error? And it says, it just says error, close program. I'm like, well, it's no use to me. What were you doing at the time? All that kind of shit. But that means I try and help people, you know? When like a builder comes around, and we haven't had many builders around, but when they come around to say like, we, we want X, Y, Z done, like when we had a shower, our shower broke. Uh, I, we invited someone around to fix it. I just kind of said, here's a new shower, fix it. Like I've kind of diagnosed the problem. I think I know what the problem is. And I'll tell them that. And then they don't try and diagnose it themselves because I'm trying to be too helpful, you know? And they assume I know what I'm talking about, which I don't. <laughs> uh, and I run the risk of being wrong because I don't know what I'm talking about. And then them not doing one thing and then either doing one job and that's not fixing the root problem or doing another job and... Um, having to do both, you know? Like getting halfway through it and being like, oh, actually, it's gonna be twice as much because I need to do this. <sighs> but it's really odd. It's really odd how that doesn't appear to be coming from the loft. Like there is that one little spot, but that spot isn't like that. Like it, like as much as I recoiled away from it because it was wet, it, it wasn't that wet. Not wet enough for me to think that was possible. Why would we lighting the fire just to like, 
<laughs> pump some hot air up. Anyway, um, let me pack away, boys. Meanwhile, I'm thinking about changing to my sleeping pattern again to get more hours in the day. I'm starting to think, please tell me you've been on Mr. Washing Machine. Oh no, you are on, you're just being quiet. Okay. Whew. Um, thinking about changing my sleeping pattern again so I can get more hours out of the day. Um, I'm starting to get the impression, I'm starting to get stressed out about not having a job. And therefore, the quicker I can get things running, the better. You know? Obviously, there's never a good time to to spring a leak or have like problems with a house or whatever. But probably one of the worst times when you don't have a job, right? And it's not like we don't have a lot of money. Like I've still got a lot of money. It's just earmarked <laughs> because it's all going down, you know? I just really regretted not, not taking that job offer. Oh. I'm trying to figure out how um, I can go about, um, ah, what am I trying to say? So like I'm adding versions of pipelines, which I kind of had before, but kind of by, not by mistake, but like, what I'm worried about is creating an infinite number of versions that I can't delete later. But does it matter yet? It doesn't matter. I can delete them if I want to delete them later. Chill out, Jimmy. Fuck me. All I need to do is store all of the information I need so that when I need to implement deleting them or cleaning up after myself, I can do that. You know what? I just kind of realized what I'm doing. I'm worrying about what happens if I have a working MVP and a user is using it too much and then it cost starts costing me more money because my database needs to be a bit bigger. I mean, what a nice fucking problem to have, Jamie. Get some perspective, Jesus Christ. There's, it's trying to future-proof something. I don't want to build something that's, that's shaky AF, right? It needs to be stable. Like, the, the, what it's doing, it needs to be scalable and stable, right? As long as I've got enough information to be able to fix issues when they happen, if they happen, it doesn't matter because I can fix them. You know something, I'm, I'm out picking up Laura, ATM. Um, how do freelance developers get started? Like, you know? <laughs> well, obviously I get how contractors work, but the problem is if you're a developer that doesn't do front end web, like you're done. Basically it's just designers that development work is done for freelance wise. Um, and that's kind of what I'm struggling with. ATM. I feel like I need, for, for my own mental state, I need to accelerate to the point where I have my MVP or get some kind of income, you know? Until either of those two things happen, I'm stressed. <laughs> I think that's my, like, problem, you know? Like, there's just too much... All I need to do is get past February. <laughs> February is expensive. And then like nothing weird happened with the house. I just miss having a nice job where I can just throw money at problems until it goes away, you know? I had the opportunity to have that. <laughs> oh God. It's so hard, man. Jesus Christ. Also town is a goddamn mess. I feel like I'm coming down with a bit of a cold, boys. I keep coughing and my throat feels a bit shitty. So I had a bit of a wobble yesterday um, from a like uh, my uh, mental stability standpoint. Um, I've also got these really annoying spots right between my fucking four eyes. <laughs> my um, eyebrows do my nutting four eyes because my glasses. One of them is where my glasses sits on my nose. Um, but it's doing my nutting. Anyway, um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing, like how, how, what my, what my plan of attack is. I'm getting, it's getting way too long this is, which is why I need two sets of gel to do anything with it. Um, but I'm just trying to figure out like what my game set is for trying to get some kind of customer base. I feel like targeting businesses is really difficult. <laughs> like it's, 
It's really complicated to do, whereas like, I kind of wish I had something that was more customer based. I need to remind me, I've got to bring a hand towel down so that I can use a hand towel instead of my fucking shower towel to dry my hands with. But yeah, I'm like trying to figure out if there is anything, I'm trying to figure out how I can monetize myself without having to have successfully built and sold something, you know. I feel like I'm, my skill set is relatively limited in like the freelance market because most freelance stuff is all basically design a website for me and I'm not very good at that because my skill set is more like back-end system architecture, which is a lot more niche. It's a lot more like you just hire someone to do it or you'd you'd pay for a big expensive contractor firm. But like my, I think, feel like my expertise is more geared towards the business to business style stuff. And I need a way of kind of generating an income, I guess. Um, I just, I don't know why, I've just started to freak out a little bit more about um, I income. <laughs> I mean, I've officially had to dip into my savings account now. So I've just been like going down my main account and I've just moved a couple of grand over from my savings account. Um, and it's just like, it's just it's becoming a bit real now, you know? <laughs> but yeah, so I feel like I, I got into a bit of a stress. And I'm just trying to figure out if there's a way that I could sell myself in some way, or my skills, to, because everyone else <laughs> just does freelancing to like tide themselves over. How do you do that? <laughs> How do you get in on that? That's what I want to know. People I've spoken to who are building like software companies all either do that actively or did contracting enough to generate more money up front than I did. And a lot of people, very few people I talk to are doing business to business. And I feel like that's a bad sign. <laughs> oh, I just don't know, I'm struggling, you know? I'm struggling from a mental capacity standpoint. Um, taking a few licks, you know, taking a few beatings and I need to be able to get back up again, I guess. Otherwise, Laura's at uni again today. She's not in as long. Um, she's only until three today, not instead of five. Um, and she's bussing, so I don't have to pick her up. Um, so I am just chipping away, doing programming, um, making progress, making waves. You know me, man is out. Um, because I feel like burying myself in that is easier. God damn it, man, I don't know what to do. You know what, boys, it's a nippy day today. Over the past three days, it's been like cold, but I went out for my walk this morning and I had my big thick coat on, because it is chuffing freezing out there, boys. Otherwise, we're back at it. I've done all of the uh, emails are ready to go for today. I'm not gonna send them yet. Um, but I've got all of them sorted. I've got two big emails to write for tomorrow. Got lots of stuff to do. Um, but we're, we're gonna stop being a little bitch today. <laughs> I'm not doing it anymore, you know? I'm gonna be, I'm ruthless and to the point, we're just gonna get shit sorted. We're gonna get shit done. Um, that's what we're gonna do. Um, so yeah, I've basically, I've had enough of wallowing. I'm gonna do something. In a time, ladies and gentlemen, after a little bit of experimentation, I have my uh, scripts set up. So I have Docker files being generated and scripts also being generated. Um, one doesn't use the other uh, at the moment. I'm not, don't really, I think as overkill, setting up the images to use the script. Um, like they're being generated from the same place. So I feel like it's, it's unnecessary step. Uh, it's very easy to keep them in sync. There was quite a lot of experimentation involved figuring out how to pass the right parameters in um, so that, because this is like, it's always gonna be in a Docker containerized area. <laughs> like it's, it's interesting. Um, like I'm kind of jumping in between a lot of different like stuff, you know, and I'm not a bash guy um, or a shell guy. I'm a PowerShell guy. I freaking love PowerShell, it's so much clearer. Yeah, so I've kind of re-engineered all of that now, so it's basically ready to rock and roll. Um, just need to, to wire it all up, basically. Um, and we're Gucci. We're Gucci. So it's been a pretty productive day today. We've got quite a lot of stuff done. Um, having dinner, and then we're going to do some sharpen. 
And then we're probably going to look at doing, I might look at writing some emails. Um, I've got an email I definitely want to draft um, that isn't on my radar at the moment. I'm, I'm, about, I'm about to jump into, like by the, about to, starting tomorrow, I'm going to have to start write, like sending big emails again um, that I haven't got pre-drafted. So I'm going to have to start drafting those. So I might try and get a head start this evening uh, as best I can. <sighs> But so far, I'm feeling a lot better. The question is, is Laura? Yeah, she's easily back in time. Look at this. Look how cold it is. It's so good. I've got my, I've got my thick coat on, mittens, and I'm even wearing my walking shoes. My, t my Timberlands. I never wear these. Purely because I just wanted to walk <laughs> over the grass. Oh, look at that crunch. Oh, beautiful. Even downstairs, it's only 16 degrees, man. My God, it's nippy today, boys. Thinking this is definitely thick hoodie kind of weather and probably get a hot water bottle later. Scripts are now being successfully generated um, and that's all sorted and like hooked up to the saga. I just need to re-hook up the old stuff so that the, um, the stuff that used to work, uh, basically all the events just aren't registered to the saga anymore. So I deleted them all to make it work. So I've just got to get them all hooked in and then we're sorted on that front. We should be ready to rock and roll then. Vis-a-vis um, -vis, uh, some the next step, which is good stuff. My next door neighbours is just hanging out washing. Like the cars are frozen over. Are you mad? <laughs> Otherwise, it's now time to write some emails. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't understand how it could be so like bright and hot in the sun. But everywhere else, the house is so cold. Just had lunch. I finished writing all of my emails. So I've got two emails going out today. One, which is a follow-up email to the email, to the initial email I'm sending out today, which I was actually being sent in two days time. I've got one more initial email I want to write um, because that one is being sent on Thursday as well. Um, lots of emails. I'm, I'm, I, to be honest with you guys, I feel like I've managed to pull myself out of the little rut I was in because I'm spending are you on? I didn't think you were on. Um, spending a lot less time planning. I'm not like going at one thing, like a, you know what I mean? Like a dog, just like chasing one thing. Um, I'm getting a lot more like varied stuff going on. Um, these emails are being sent in about 20 minutes. I'm gonna try and smash out some programming. Um, yeah. I definitely feel much better than I did um, a couple of days ago. Well, when this video first started, I mean, like this glass is literally hot to the touch. <laughs> all right, getting ready for my walk. Uh, work is all done now. I'm just gonna ripple through some of the functions and make sure that I've got using the same language for everything. There's like a place where, cause I've now kind of introduced a new way of working. I'm using a lot of the old events, but previously I called something like an image ID and I'm calling it a version IDs cause there's now not only just an image. There's something else as well. Uh, so just gonna ripple through and make sure everything's called the same thing, basically. Um, and then when it's sorted on that front, it's just a case of rippling this little bit of information out through the microservices so that the microservice that needs it gets it, um, which I think it can get directly, but it might have to go via the analyst, the analysis service, who knows? Uh, but that's where I'm at. So your boy is gonna go for a walk, come back, do that. Uh, Draft some emails, keep working. Laura's late at home tonight because she's going to the gym, so. So I made an executive decision to uh, back off. I was like, not very productive. So I like backed away and did a load of like, put the washing away on that kind of shit until Laura came home. Then we just had a relatively chilled out evening. That does mean there's been two scenarios now where I've said I was gonna write an email and I haven't, which isn't good. Um, <clears throat> but I'm gonna end this video here, ladies and gentlemen. We have an interesting couple of days coming up uh, tomorrow and the day after. Uh, tomorrow we might be, we're on a waiting list for an event, and the day after that we're getting the car checked out and I'm going to another event. Um, I also have a meeting, a, a video meeting with someone tomorrow, which is gonna be interesting. Um, so yeah, and we're gonna be jumping into now, officially, I finished all the dev stuff for that thing I was working on. So now we're gonna be working on officially spinning up the, um, Oh, I've got to replicate the data around and then I can officially set up the functions that will kick it all into action. That sounds like fun. So yeah, living the dream, boys. Living the dream. Um, there is, that's about it. 
really. Um, so yeah. Anything else to say? I don't think so. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this video. And it, I don't think I've uploaded a video in like a month now. So I need to get back on that again. <laughs> oh, I'll catch you later.